Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, I want to show you how easy it is to start using GraphQL in Wayscript. Let's get started. Starting out, we'll go to wayscript.com. Once here, we can click on create a new script. This one I will name GraphQL tutorial. And once we're finished, I'll create this as a public script. That way you can go to our marketplace and find it if you just want to clone it. For now, I'll click on create. To get started using GraphQL with Wayscript, we make it super easy to do. All you need to do is to pull in a GraphQL module from the left into your workflow. We'll drag and drop it as this first step in our workflow. Now, what we need is the API URL that we want to query. In this example, I've already got sample code that we can use, and it also has a URL that we can query. So I'll take it here, and copy this. We'll go back to Wayscript and paste it in. We also have the query code that we need for this example. If you want to follow along as well, I'll have this code linked in the description below. Now, when we click on run code, we're querying this URL using this GraphQL code. We'll run code and we'll get back a response. Once we get back that response, we see that we have a new variable created in the bottom left. This gives us access to all of that response content that we can use in our script. If we were to open it up, we can see that we have a struct type, so we have a dictionary of calling codes from different countries. Just like how if this was a programming language, we can access these variables, we can do the same thing in Wayscript. Let's say that we wanted to use Python to extract all countries that had a calling code of 244. So we'll click on Done Editing, and now there's plenty of ways that we can extract a value on a conditional. In this example, I'll use Python, but you also have access to if statements built into Wayscript. To use Python, we'll just click and drag Python under the code section and drop it under GraphQL. Here, we can write our own Python code however we want into the code editor. Our first step is to reference this variable that we created in the previous step. We can do that by creating a Python variable called response and setting it equal to the variable's dictionary using the key of the name of that variable. So this is our key because it's the same name as this right here. And then we're using this variables dictionary to store all of these values. Now, if we wanted to print response and run code, we should get the same result over in the right, which we do. Now we have access to the struct object in Python code and we can do whatever we want using it. Using Python to extract that country with a specific column code, we can say something like for item in and then we need to reference all these values in the struct so we'll say for item in response dot get and then we'll say calling code to find all the countries with the 244 calling code let's say if item and then the name refers to the calling code is equal to the value of 244 let's say a will be equal to that item countries. Now that we have this, let's go down and say variables countries. So we're creating a Wayscript variable here will be equal to our Python value of A. When that finishes executing, we see that we've returned all those countries that we wanted. Now we can use this value with any of the other modules inside of Wayscript. And that's all we have for you this time. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know either here or join our Discord community and ask them there. Until next time.